So if you're caught up with the lading streaming news, you might find yourself in a little bit of a tricky situation and questioning which broadcasting software you should use. If you find yourself on the path of wanting to switch from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio, and we have all of the information that you need to know. How's it going everyone and welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and in today's video we're going to be talking to you guys about OBS Studio. As we mentioned there's been a lot of news going around about Streamlabs OBS and regular OBS Studio and you may find yourself in the middle of a tricky situation, leaving a lot of people wanting to come over to OBS and switching from Streamlabs OBS, me being one of those people as well. But if you find yourself still on the fence, we can quickly talk about some of the amazing pros that OBS Studio has to offer. First of all, it is super customizable. There are more things that you can do with OBS Studio than you can with anything else. This includes plugins and just making your stream look absolutely fantastic with them. It is super customizable and that's something that Streamlabs OBS doesn't really offer. Not to mention that this is free to use and open source, so you're pretty much good to go as soon as you download it and it's very very easy to use. It's also way less intense on your PC so if you're streaming with a lower end computer or something that's just in the middle and Streamlabs OBS has just been going berserk killing your CPU or GPU then OBS Studio might be the solution you've been looking for. So it's really worth checking out and I highly do recommend it. Alrighty, so now it's actually time to figure out how do we transfer all of our stuff from Streamlabs OBS onto OBS itself. Let's jump on into it. So this is actually quite simple to do. All you need to do on your scene section is to click on it and then you're going to click on manage all. From here, you will see what your active stream scene is. You can rename this to make sure that you know. So we'll name this OBS import so that way we know. and. Honestly, that is pretty much it. You pretty much click done and that is everything that you need to do on the Streamlabs OBS side. From here, simply just open up OBS Studio and by default, you will have nothing. It will just be a regular scene and whatever else is there if you have messed with it in the past. But if it's brand new, you should have nothing. And if you go over to the top, you will see it says scene collection. From here, you click on import and this will automatically find and import things. And we can see right here, OBS import. We simply click on that. We simply click on it, click on import. And then over here, we click on OBS import. And then we are done. Just like that, we have every single thing with the transitions ready to go on OBS Studio. That simple and that easy to do. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is literally that simple to implement everything from Streamlabs OBS onto OBS Studio. You see how quick it was done. So it's honestly worth giving it a shot and seeing what it's like and if you don't like it you can always revert because it's a simple change just like that but I highly do recommend checking it out and promise you you'll really enjoy it. So for me I'm about to start using OBS Studio myself and I hope you guys do as well and I hope this video did help you but that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy make sure you leave a like down below and comment if you need any help. Don't forget to join the Streamloose Discord which will be linked down below in the description. You'll find tons of streamers and Streamloop affiliates and partners just like yourselves giving ideas, exchanging some awesome information, and it's just a wonderful community. So make sure you guys do join. But with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.